What's going on guys, Matt Everett here with Lethal Camaro and today there's a new rumor floating around and honestly I don't think it's an actual rumor, I think it's truth and a lot of it's being driven by people being sad that the ZL1 1LE is not the Z28 and I think GM wants people to be rest assured or give them hope that there's still a chance for that car in the future and here's kind of the reasoning of it. So. The rumor is, is that there is the LT5 dual overhead cam setup being developed for the 2018 Corvette ZR1. Now, what that car is going to be, what that engine's actually going to be, it, who knows? You know, it's, it's still technically a rumor. Um, but the other side of it is there's a, supposedly a whole new family tree of motors coming starting with the LT5 and it's going to be followed up with an LT6 which will be a 5.5 liter uh, push dual overhand cam setup with aluminum block aluminum heads uh, and it's supposedly going to be pushing 700 horsepower in its naturally aspirated motor and that it will be flanked by what they're calling an LT7 which will be a dual turbo setup for that motor which would be just ungodly probably in my opinion so the thought is that this new engine family is said to break away from the norm and uses an aluminum block and head, dual overhead camshaft, four valve combustion chambers, direct and possibly combination with port fuel injection, titanium connecting rods, and a flat crankshaft. That would be a monster motor. Um, and again, this, this rumor comes from our good friends at GM Authority, uh, but I, I do think that there's some truth here. I do think GM is pushing for the dual overhead cam design. They're going with a whole different um, style, primarily driven by the cafe standards that have to be met. Most people know dual overhead cam setups are more efficient and can yield better gas mileage on a motor, and it looks like even more power. Now, dropping from a 6.2 liter, and as you guys know, the LS7 was in the previous um, Z28, which was a bigger motor than that, but going to a 5.5 liter motor and pushing out 700 horsepower, that's going to be a feat in itself. That is a monster machine right there. So if the LT6 is a thing and it does find its way into a Z28, I think everyone is going to be happy. Now, <clears throat> let me just spin it this way. Um, I don't think the Z28 is dead. There's a ton of people who've commented on my videos. There's a ton of people talking in forums. The Mustang guys are having a heyday, you know, trying to say that it's going to take a supercharger to beat the GT350R. Um, I, I just, I think the Z28 is coming. I think GM has huge plans for the car and for the platform itself. And it's going to be something to be reckoned with. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you guys think of the LT5 that's rumored, rumored for the, Z, the ZR1? What do you think of the potential of a LT6 modder signifier, which will be the natural aspirated setup, and then a dual turbo on an LT7 and maybe not a supercharger setup? What do you guys think of that? Do you think that would be an interesting build? Do you think that would just be a monster? I think it'll be a monster car. On the alpha platform with that kind of power, it's going to be insane. I, I honestly am a little afraid to see what GM can do to keep all that power to the ground. Um, I know the current ZL1 is, you know, having traction issues. So I do know that they have a different tire on the ZL1 1LE. Maybe they're working with Goodyear for something even better for their upcoming potential Z28. And I still believe that if a Z28 does come out, it's going to come out with the refresh of the 6th gen or whatever that update is. And that could be 2019, could be 2020. I think we have a little waiting to do, uh, but I, I think we should keep our keen eyes open to the interwebs, the Nurseberg ring for potential cars being tested. So either or, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think the Z28 is coming? Do you not think it's coming? What do you think of these new motors, dual overhead cam designs, dual turbos, naturally aspirated, 700 horsepower? aluminum blocks like there's a whole bunch of stuff coming down the pipe that just it doesn't seem like jam but to meet cafe standards and whatnot i could see it happening so either or let me know thanks for checking out this video if you enjoyed the conversation and content hit that subscribe button if not likes comment shares are appreciated check out the lethal swag down below in the description and as always i hope to see you on the road